Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you stick around and subscribe for more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're on a roll with all of these radiant, fresh, hydrating complexion products and I love it. Even though not all of them have worked out for me, I am still here for this because right now I will take all of the hydration, radiance, and freshness that I can get because my skin really, really, really needs it. So with all of that being said, today we're going to be testing out the new NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This is supposed to be the perfect match to the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. If you guys recall, I actually reviewed this foundation a couple of months back when it released and if I'm being completely honest, I actually didn't love it then as much as I do now. Part of it was because I bought the wrong shade. The one that I had was a little too yellow for me and I just never got around to purchasing my correct shade in this foundation because there were so many new foundation releases at that time that I was just like, I couldn't be bothered. Until recently, I finally got my correct shade and I've been using it nonstop and I have really, really enjoyed it. So I'm super excited to test out this concealer. But anyway, this concealer claims to instantly brighten your under eye area, cover any blemishes, and also blur out any imperfections. And this is what the packaging looks like. I actually thought it was going to be a little bigger than what it actually is. And when you open it up, the applicator portion of this is much like the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I honestly prefer a doe foot applicator wand type of deal, but this will do. So it comes in these 24 different shades. I picked up two of them. First, I picked Vanilla, which is a light with neutral undertones. And then I got Natural, which is a nude with neutral undertones as well. And I picked mine up at Ulta for dollars each and these are also cruelty free and vegan and these are the ingredients on the screen. I went ahead and did my foundation off camera and if you're wondering what I used on my face today, I first took the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist and patted a little bit onto my face with my sponge and then for primer I took the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and then for foundation, I obviously use the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Natural. So now for concealer, I think today I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Vanilla. It actually feels pretty thick, thicker than I was expecting at least, and I think this might be a little too light for me. But we do have another shade, so we can always figure it out and fix it. As you guys can see, it is giving me quite the brightening effect and I really, really like that. And it is blending out pretty easily and nicely considering the fact that it does feel a little bit thick. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the shade Vanilla closer to my inner corner and then I'm gonna take the shade Natural and just cover up any blemishes that I may have. I'm gonna start blending everything with this brush and then I'll go in with my sponge. So far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so my makeup is completely done and I am feeling very glowy and radiant and refreshed and I just feel like I have this lit from within type of look and I love it. I think the concealer is looking very good so far. I am going to look up close and see what's going on. Right off the bat, I can tell you guys that this is not a full coverage concealer, at least not on me. I can definitely still see some of my darkness peeking through, but it does give you quite a nice brightening effect, which I really, really like. And I think the best part so far about this concealer is that it makes your skin look juicy and plump and just super hydrated and refreshed and I honestly really like that. I think the combination of both the concealer and this foundation just make your skin look so nice and healthy. So I think so far so good. There's really nothing else that I can comment on at the moment because it's looking again good so far. So I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day. It is currently three o'clock so I will come back at the end of the night and give you guys my overall thoughts and opinions. So I will see you guys in a bit. 
I am back guys and it is currently 10 30 p.m. so it's been over seven hours of me having this concealer on my skin and it looks good overall but there are a couple of things that I do want to mention first off I already mentioned this earlier but I do want to re-emphasize it this is not a full coverage concealer it does claim that you can customize the coverage that you want I did go in I did go in with it twice and I can say that I can still see the darkness of my under eye area peeking through and honestly you can only do so much building up of coverage before it starts looking cakey and not like your skin so I honestly wouldn't go a third time I would just prefer getting a full coverage concealer that's gonna do it for me like the first try you know what I mean another thing that I do want to mention is that this concealer did crease on me and to be honest most concealers, almost all of them, will crease on me. I've noticed that happening lately. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the weather, maybe my skin. I don't know, but it is what it is. So I'm kind of used to them creasing sooner or later. But this one specific, I hope that you guys can see that in this clip. There's some cracking going on right like in my actual under eye area. And I don't know if it's cracking or if the product just moved around or if it's actually clinging on to my fine lines and emphasizing them. I don't know what it is, but I honestly don't like it. So will I recommend this concealer? If you have oily skin, I wouldn't suggest you go buy this concealer because you already have oily skin and adding a product that's gonna give you an extra glow, you're not gonna enjoy it. It's not gonna be a good combo and it's most likely just gonna glide off your skin throughout the day. But if you have dry skin, I think this would be the perfect everyday type of concealer because not only is it going to give you a nice brightening effect but it's also going to bring life I just lost my train of thought and also almost choked on my own saliva what I was saying is if you have dry skin or combination skin I think this would be the perfect everyday type of concealer because not only is it going to give you a nice brightening effect but it's also going to bring life back into your under eye area and make it look plump and refresh and it's going to stay looking like that throughout the entire day that you have the concealer on your skin. So I do like it. I honestly don't see myself picking this up for days where I know I'm going to need makeup throughout a very long period of time because I would rather just have a full coverage concealer. But I do see myself wearing this on an everyday basis where I just need to look refreshed and almost like a no makeup makeup look type of deal. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my overall thoughts and opinions about this concealer. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if you've tested it out, if you're going to go buy it, or if you have any questions for me, comment down below. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because it's free and it's a fun time. So until next time, bye guys.